so excited to be a part of this brand called Solve Strips. They are dissolvable film strips instead of pills that are super convenient, especially if you're on the go like me. I'm about to take one that freshens your breath because I'm about to walk into an appointment or a date. Who knows? <laughs> See? Easy. Okay, gotta go. Bye! Hello, my lovelies. This is Jenny from Jenny's Fun Facts. We just want to take a moment to thank you so much, P Eats Meal Preps, for sponsoring our episodes. New menu out every Friday, order by Sunday, delivered fresh by Tuesday. And guess what? They deliver to all Montreal surrounding areas as well. Healthy, fresh, and delivered to your door for free. Add them and our podcast on Instagram at p.eats underscore p as in Peter, R E P as in Peter, S. Thanks, P Eats Meal Preps. Welcome to Noon Hour Out of the Box. This is episode 42. Thank you all once again for joining us. Your constant love and support is so appreciated by the two of us. Of course, a huge thank you to our producer, Jenny Dehame, who makes all this happen, and to my mentor and good friend, and who is also my co-host, Mr. Robert D'Alessio. How are you today, Robert? Absolutely amazing. Uh, really excited about our show. Uh, we have a very, very interesting guest, a fine gentleman. Lots of fun, lots of energy. He's got something really, really nice, and the audience is really going to enjoy this show today. Yes, it's a great product. I'm very excited to talk about it. Uh, it's called Solve Strips. And Robert, I have to tell you, I have difficulty with taking my supplements, as does my son and my daughter as well, because we just spoke about it the other day. And uh, what Michael has to offer is a great, innovative way to take your supplements, whether you're on the go or whether you just have difficulty swallowing like we do. So I'm very excited to talk about it. I think it's a, a great necessity and something that the public should learn about. Exactly. Uh, just like you, Esther, I have a hard time swallowing pills. <clears throat> just to give you an example of acetaminophen, not to mention right. any brand, I like to take the ones that are coated, the ones that are coated in red because they're easier to swallow. So I can understand where everybody's coming from that are having a hard time swallowing medication because sometimes if you don't have enough water in that cup and you're taking that pill, it can really get sour. <clears throat> it could be a bad experience. Absolutely. Like even that sometimes I have difficulty sleeping and I take my melatonin and really to go downstairs to get a glass of water and to sit up and swallow. It, it's a whole process. So I just forget to do it or I just decide not to do it. If there's a strip available that you just take out and let it dissolve in your mouth, that would be like amazing, so convenient and would probably encourage me to take it more often because I just brush it off because of the inconvenience of it all. So there are so many factors that make it just a, an incredible uh, new type of product. It's uh, such a brilliant idea. We first saw those strips coming out that they actually have these mint strips. Yes. Uh, you have them all over the place. And uh, just to get familiar with it, um, it's, it's something a little similar to that, but this is medication. So, but this is like, you know, it's, I, I just think it's a genius idea. It's absolutely brilliant. Someone had to think of it, and the right person thought about it. Our guest, who's going to be coming on shortly, is going to be explaining everything there is to know about his new product. All right, let's introduce him. So, Michael W. Palmer. So, he's Vice President of Operations and Director of InnoSol Health. He is in Calgary, Alberta. And the company which produces soft strips has developed the first of its kind revolutionary oral thin film, 
referred to as OTF technology, accommodating superior loading capacity of active ingredients, improved stability over any other strip on the market today. This breakthrough drug delivery technology provides a reduction in stress for patients that have difficulty swallowing pills or those that just prefer a faster, safer, easier, and more accurate method of taking medicine and supplements, offering the potential to eliminate or replace needles and pills through quick, dissolving, great tasting, easy to take, portable strips. Sounds good to me. That's absolutely brilliant. Before we bring on our guests, we got a break for program identification. There you go. So we're just about ready to bring in our guest. Esther, the honor is yours. Mr. Michael W. Palmer. Let's welcome him. Hi, how are you? Great. Uh, great to be here. Thanks so much, Esther and Robert, for that. Uh, I could just listen to you two all afternoon. Thanks uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, for on replay later on. <laughs> exactly. It's awesome. Thank you. Great to so, be here. So you, thank you so much for uh, coming here. Uh, uh, just an honor, uh, Michael. Uh, Michael, so let's uh, let's ask you the first question here. What is exactly an oral thin strip film, and what is special about it? Uh, it's uh, really cool, and I'm glad you asked that. I think most of us probably in the market as consumers know Listerine breath papers. You know, Johnson Johnson still sell that at every point of sale, and that's really the, the strips are the technology. Oral thin film, uh, we are able to medicate that technology. Uh, you know, we, the loading capacity is probably 100 milligrams of active ingredient. So we're still able to mask the bitterness of that active ingredient. So it tastes great. So you'll, you'll actually take it. The technology, what it does, it's almost closer to 90% bioavailability, uh, meaning compared to pills, capsules, uh, soft gels, and even gummies, they're anywhere from 25% to 60%. And of course, gummies, which are very popular with uh, with children, but problem with gummies there's a lot of binders in there too so you don't you have to take more to get the full value where with us you're getting close to 90 percent of the active ingredient and it gets into your bloodstream within two to five minutes with simply uh, letting the strip melt in your tongue or your inside cheek and it's uh, and we think it tastes great and we've been told it tastes good so that's good or people won't let that uh, take place so why is the oral thin film strip more ideal than taking let's say a pill or taking it in liquid form? Well, you, with, uh, with the pills or capsules or, or soft gels, of course you have to swallow those. So it has to, it has to pass through your uh, GI tract. Everything passes through your liver. Sometimes it's your stomach absorption. So with, uh, you know, with, you can do that. You'll still have uh, obviously uh, uh, talking to your medical doctors, nutritionalists and, uh, and natural paths and anybody that has uh, that, uh, you know, a background to give that kind of advice, but uh, you know, by by taking a strip, you're you're getting uh, you're avoiding it gets into your systemic system within two to five minutes. So you're basically taking a first pass of your GI tract and liver. So it's in your so you don't want to you want to wait 45 minutes for a pill to work. I'd rather have it start taking effect on my body within five minutes, and that's what the oral thin film strip technology does. It gets into your system and stays in your bloodstream longer as well. So what exactly are solves strips? Solve strips are, uh, um, and we, the solves came up with, it dissolves quickly as in solves. We hopefully it helps solve health uh, challenges, uh, health issues, or the phobia of having to swallow pills. According to uh, Bayer AG and uh, one of the largest uh, pharmaceutical groups on the planet, so that the market is becoming pill fatigued. So the oral thin film technology, this, the thin layer strip, and it's kind of a strip has, it's like three layers. And they all go through, you know, a, a lot of testing, six months of accelerated stability. So we get granted a two year shelf life, but by just simply placing the technology, the strip just on your tongue. And it's, uh, I always say, make sure your palate's a bit moist. The active ingredient gets in your system so rapidly and so quickly, and it's safe. Great for children, you know. Great for seniors, 
seniors are taking multiple pills a day and not all seniors of course but those who have to and some down in the u.s aren't taking their pills because they're just tired of trying to swallow 20 to 30 pills a day so hopefully someday we can get into that category versus just vitamin supplements and nutraceuticals so we we see a lot of potential out there to really make a difference in the uh, people's uh, you know health care and uh, and dynamics yeah absolutely so why take soft strips over other strips on the market and where can we find them uh good question it's a, and we always say the more the merrier because you because i think as an industry we want to bring education to the medical profession uh of course us consumers that we can find better ways to take our meds so we just feel that our price point is uh, is is really uh, attractive. Uh, the products taste great. They're easy to carry. They're portable. You can throw them in your yoga bags, your gym bags, your tennis bags, your golf bags. You can travel. It, it, uh, airplanes are easy to pack versus trying to get jars and jars and bottles of supplements to carry with you. It's a lot easier easier to take with you it's because it's so portable. And we just think the uh, um, the technology is just uh, makes people say, you know what, I'll, I'll, t I'll, if, I'll take these. These really make a difference in me wanting to take a supplement or not. So people are loving this. They don't have to take a handful of vitamin supplements and try to chug that down with a glass of water or juice or whatever that may be. So with our strips, there's no need to take, uh, you know, water to, to, uh, to rinse them down. We all know we, as people, we do have to hydrate properly, but, uh, but strips are just a great way to, and convenient. You could be uh, you could be playing uh, squash, and you realize you you seem to be getting low on energy. You pop an electrolyte strip out of your pouch onto your tongue, and within five minutes you're probably you know feeling pretty good again. So let's talk about the convenience factor. We know that you've mentioned a few points, but besides the points you've mentioned, is there anything else that makes these convenient? Because we see at the same time that they can also act as a booster. Because you, you, you were saying off air that uh, uh, performance, could, whether it's athletic or it's on the workforce, can actually improve by 5%. Yeah, there's a 5% is a group that we're trying to work with on a, on a, on a university study. So we, that, that, would be, that would make sense uh, uh, to be able to improve uh, you know, your sports uh, uh, level higher to a higher grade of 5%. We're not in, we haven't got that product on the market yet. But uh, we're we're working on something like that. But with electrolytes, you know, if I'm if I'm golfing and it's a hot day, it's 30 degrees, and uh, and you know, you get to the back nine, all of a sudden you feel like you lose interest. You're just kind of running out of energy. I always I take electrolytes trip before I head towards the back, and I'll probably take another one or two during the the back nine. And I don't I I tend to keep my energy level, you know, uh, at a good level, and I and I don't lose interest. It's like riding your bike or hiking, yoga, or just sitting on the beach. And we've all seen, and we've all been parents. We've all seen our children melt down on the beaches because they get too much sun. By having uh, electrolytes, because they're portable and you can, easy to take, you can just take it out of your bag or your, your pocket in your gym shorts or your swimwear and pop that strip on your tongue. And hopefully within a couple of minutes, you start feeling uh, not so, uh, you know, sunstroked or nauseous, things like that. My goodness, I have to get me some of that. I have never <laughs> even considered taking electrolytes for being out in the sun or just Great being idea. active, going on hikes, etc. That is brilliant. And I do suffer. I, I do get dehydrated very easily, or I think I do. So that is a terrific option. I'm just so curious, so what prompted you and your co-founder to develop this product in the first place? It came across. We, we were in the we were in the past, you know, angel investors, mentors, and coaches. We still do some of that. And an opportunity came into the forum that had pitched. And we thought, wow, that's really interesting technology. So we just, uh, it caught our interest. And uh, like everything new product, you got to, you apply yourself lock, stock, and barrel into it to make it succeed. We, there's five of us co-founders, uh, both here in uh, Calgary and our U, at our U.S. subsidiary down in Cincinnati, Ohio, uh, focusing on the U.S. market down there. And so it just came across. We thought this is too good of an opportunity for us not to uh, exploit and dig more into and see how we could actually make a difference in everybody's wellness. And, and we all know we, and how can we take our meds better? Will we take our medications if we have a product like this? So we just thought, hey, let's do it. You know, we went out there and, uh, and uh, 
carried on from there. Everything else is history. We've got lots of uh, lots of battle scars. You know, as uh, as being an entrepreneur like all of us, we all know. You know, hopefully, you fail forward and you make mistakes, but it's all part of getting to that real uh, that real uh, end product that we know we can make a difference in people's healthcare. So, Michael, tell us about your involvement with AltHealth.me. Yeah, that's a, uh, with a mutual friend of mine in uh, the Toronto area, as you probably know, Jeff Dennis. Yes. And Jeff is, uh, you know, the founder behind that. And and I'm on another uh, platform with Jeff is where we met uh, a few years ago. And in uh, Jeff saw it uh, as a, a great opportunity to have a product since they're focused on chronic health issues that, you know, the oral thin film strips would be a great place to be. And we, and we thought, uh, again, as entrepreneurs and getting our brand image out there and for people to know about it, that we're not just uh, for general daily, you know, healthcare and, and, and supplement your diets and supplement your, your uh, making sure you're getting the right supplements. But there's a lot of medical issues out there that we think that our, our strips would be perfect for, ideal for. And we thought, what a brilliant idea Jeff had with Alt Health and, uh, and even though it's pioneering and new, we're so uh, so glad to be part of it. Uh, we see it as, as an opportunity, again, like as Esther talks about brand influencers, uh, they've got a whole bunch of brand influencers on there that make, they get the, the brand out there and uh, get it more known and with writing blogs and articles. So we thought, what a great idea for us to be heavily involved. So we're, we're, we're tickled pink to be part of that. Is there any way eventually that, Medication could be combined. I'll give you an example inside one of the strips. You could have ibuprofen. You could have acetaminophen and probably, um, I don't know exactly what the name of the, the gen generic product is, Robaxacet. Can you combine like maybe one, two, three medications into that to make it a convenient package deal? You could. Now, the, the, the other thing you'd want to do, though, it's a more expensive way to go. We'd like to get there. But if you're looking at what we call OTC, over-the-counter meds, over-the-counter products, you would you'd want to put those through four phases of medical clinical trials. Very expensive to do, but you want to come back to be able to make the medical claims that, hey, it's 90% bioavailability. It's, uh, it's safer to take. It's uh, a first pass of your GI tract and liver. So we'd love to do ibuprofen, acetaminophen, which, of course, is Tylenol. Both those products are very hard in your liver, your stomach. So if you can get this on an oral thin film strip, what a difference that would make for uh, for all of us, you know, that it gets in your system within, uh, you know, five minutes versus waiting 45 minutes for it to start to work. You want that relief now, not wait, you know, down the road. So we'd like to explore that, but it just means it's a big, big investment to do so. We max out at about 100 milligrams. So 100 milligrams of active, uh, like a, an adult ibuprofen, I think is 200 milligrams. We yeah. can do 100, so like a chi children's dosage, but you can take two of those, of course, and uh, get that into your system because you want to be able to still mask that highly bitter taste. Active pharmaceutical ingredients or all the active ingredients of supplements are highly bitter. So if they're that bitter, no one's going to take the product, of course. Oil? Yeah. Yeah. I need to get so, some yeah, of that. Good question. Good. Great question. Yeah. Oil? So, so Michael, uh, we were talking uh, before. Um, have you considered, or are you considering, going on to the Dragon Den, or maybe Shark Tank? Are these uh, outlets that you have um, toyed with, or is it something that you're looking into doing? Uh, we we could look into doing that for sure. I think we we have we've had numerous uh, you know uh, you know management and board board discussions about do we want to go on to you know the likes of. Uh, Shark Tank and uh, and Dragons Den here in Canada. Of course, we know some of the past, like uh, Arlene and uh, Brett Wilson, and in the past, and and a few others. So it's uh, always interesting. You always wonder how, if, uh, you know, of course, with us being angel investors, we have our own kind of uh, Dragons Dens that go on in these monthly angel investor forums that are very very similar. But we think from a marketing perspective, it would be great exposure if you were if we were able to succeed and get on the shows. Like I, I think it's a great idea. That if we didn't, we weren't able to raise some money, but could we raise exposure? And that show is such, both shows have such a great audience. I think you'd have a good opportunity to create that brand exposure you're looking for. 
It would definitely be incredible PR. So, Michael, where can we purchase these products? Uh, right now, we have just because uh, COVID kind of got in the way of us. We launched in 2018, and uh, so we were just ready to go. And we had uh, some interest on the retail side. So, with COVID getting in the way, all the buyers were sitting at home, just like all of us. And some of the ministries of health that are equivalent to the FDA and Health Canada, where they were, weren't registering new products. So, we focused on our online. Our solvesstrips.com website is a Shopify store. Great Ottawa mm -hmm. story. Great. Canadian story for, you know, having to recreate your own store. Shopify does a tremendous job uh, with providing us, us companies, entrepreneurs with a platform like that. If For those Amazon uh, Prime people, we're on Amazon.com, uh, Walmart.com as well. We're now focusing on U.S. retail, even though we're a Canadian company. Uh, we're focused on New York, Pennsylvania, and, uh, and uh, in the New England area to get it on shelves. And then we can come back here and start looking at Canada. Canada's a bit of a smaller market, but with Canada, we have to be compliant with having French included on our labels. And with Health Canada, we have to file every product to get our, each product has to have a natural product number. And that's, uh, you know, it's just time and money, but that's okay. Well, so then we can get on the shelves within Canada as well. But Canadians can buy online and we can have it delivered to you within a week. We have a follow-up uh, to the question I asked you before, Michael. Uh, could this product be made to order so that eventually the pharmacist can make a custom strip for each individual? Great, mm. great, great question. And yes, you could. I think when you get down there and we get to, we get our, let's say, our e easier products to market, you know, vitamin supplements or as we call them, nutraceuticals, are, I wouldn't, they're, they're the regulatory and uh, environment with the regulatory uh, commissions are easier to get through than dealing with over the counter meds. So I think uh, as we get through that and get our products and get the brand out there that people are taking it, then we can come back and most likely, like you say, customize and personalize everybody's uh, daily regimen. What do they want to take on a strip? Hopefully by then we can increase the, the technology. The problem is when you get over hundred milligrams, of active ingredient, let's say 200 milligrams, the strip starts becoming like an oral dissolvable tablet. It's more like a sucker. So then you don't have the same uh, efficacy as you would with a with an oral thin film strip. So there's as technology improves, I think it'd be great to be able to have uh, have, have the ability to be give everybody the supplements that they want, how they want it, and to their dosage size. I think it's a tremendous question. So could we get there? down in the future hopefully yes but right now we got to stay crystal focused on just delivering the the current products and our and a handful of products that are ready to go in our product suite do you have a uh, a background in the medical field because you are so knowledgeable are you specialized in some kind of a medical field uh, no, it was what do you call it? being a serial <laughs> a serial entrepreneur, right? Well, like we all do, we we're like chameleons. We recreate ourselves. Do you think you're going to be in one industry for your life? As we know, the startup industry in Canada is booming. It's uh, there's so much support. So you uh, so you just it's, it's the access to having your own mentors and coaches. But you know, it wasn't for the internet and Google, the information that we can find, research papers. And of course, we have good R and D chief science officers and doctors around us to help us with that. But we just, we're just curious uh, people and uh, entrepreneurs and you learn quickly, you learn what works and, uh, and you get in you and knowledge is, you know, as we all know, I'll say powerful in a way, just the more knowledge you have, the better you are able to uh, address any kind of concern or any kind of challenge and, and failures. We all have our failures and hopefully those failures, as Brian Scudamore would say from my got 1-800, I got junk. Uh, the willing to fail forward, you know, and that's what you do. You, you make your mistakes, but you, uh, you don't make them again. You just learn quickly. And, and then we talk to really great experts that are doctors and, and research people that uh, make really help us out along the way. So you presently have four supplements and the breath mints. Are there any other supplements around the corner that we should expect to see from you guys? We hope so. We're going to try and do is a retail Retailers tell us which, those, which ones they would want instead of building, they will come. But there's no question we've got a pot, another product suite that are ready. They're not branded or packaged. For instance, like B12, a multivitamin, a multimineral, uh, curcumin, 
uh, you know, that's a great one. Prenatal, which we know is super important, especially if you can get that into your Very. system very quickly. So there's a lot of formulations we can do. We'll get into the non-GMOs too, the vegans. The problem with natural wow. products and natural flavoring, we've got those ready, but we don't like the taste. So until we improve the flavoring, uh, you could do that. And you want to be able to satisfy that growing marketplace for people being natural and uh, free from and things. So we've got our eye on that and eye on, we can do custom formulations. We've, we do private label. So we look at opportunities like we're doing with a group that holistic mushrooms, not psychedelics, but hmm. like turkey tail lion's mane. Lion's mane apparently is great for focus and uh, anxiety and some depression. And turkey, uh, turkey tail is great for gut health. And we know that gut health are so important these days. So we've got a lot of uh, opportunities down the road. Three of our products, electrolyte, melatonin, and uh, vitamin D, which we know us folks north of the border, uh, vitamin D is really important to us, especially in the winter time. Those three products are in the top three supplement categories uh, selling global, globally right now. So you try and stick with the popular ones that you know that consumers are familiar with and they'll, be, they'll take. And then they have to, we try to educate them on the technology why taking a strip over a capsule or a pill or a tablet is, uh, is, is better for you. Amazing. These, uh, how time flies when yeah. we're having fun. I mean, this, oh. this half hour, <laughs> actually, these 15 minutes just yeah. flew right by. It's so interesting. Uh, Jeff, thank you so much for being part of our show and uh, such an honor. Oh, and folks, you. Uh, uh, you know, if you want to order, the uh, pills, uh, actually the strips from uh, Michael, we put them up on uh, on our show on our screen during the show. You can rewatch our, our broadcast right after it's going to be over. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can also ask the questions even after our broadcast is over. Esther, thank you so much for being such an amazing co-host. Absolutely my pleasure, Robert. Thank you to Jenny DeHame, our amazing producer. Thank you to Jeff Dennis, the uh, the forerunner of uh, althealth.me. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in to what was another great show. So tune in next week, same time, same place, same reason. Bye for now. Ciao for now. Thank you so much.